Pastor Ken? Has anybody seen Pastor Ken? We're supposed to be shooting a video today. Oh, hi, guys. Uh, let's see. Pastor Pastor Ken! Uh, well, we got to get this show on the road, guys. So what's the first thing we do here in Kid Zone? What? I can't hear you. Oh, that's right. Pray. So remember, bow your heads, fold your hands, close your eyes. Yeah, I did that right. How about that? Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for another opportunity to come and learn more about your word. God, I pray that every person, every family that is watching this video, God, that you would just bless them in a measure beyond their wildest dreams, God. Just go before us as we go into this week so that we can serve you in everything we do. In your name we pray, amen. Now, I still don't know where Pastor Ken is, but I guess we got to do announcements. Hey! hey. hey. Look at the worm! <laughs> Vern, Vern, that's not a, Vern, that's not a worm. Oh, I'm hungry! Well, I'm sorry, but that's not a worm. Is that a worm? No, it's it not a worm. Like a worm. No, it's a hose. It's got scales like a worm. No, that's not scales. It's it's a vacuum hose. Oh, that's a hoser. Yeah, I know. Uh -oh. I know. Uh, aren't you here to do announcements, Vern? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, 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 so, yep, yep, yep. Oh, so, my name is Vern. Uh, uh, hi, Vern. Uh, it's uh, nice uh, to meet you. Uh, hey, have, oh, you, thank you. have you seen Pastor Ken? Uh, no. Oh, dear. Nope. Y'all might be stuck with me the whole video. Oh, goodness. Let's oh, see. That would be terrible. Yeah, I know. I know it would. Hor uh, horrible YouTube content, I know. So, all right. What's so, the first what announcement? Do? I don't know. Let me you go check. Yeah, Hold go, on. Go check. Go check. I, I sent it to you. I sent you an email. Uh, it is. Oh, I got it. It's ticket time. It's ticket time, but there's no kids here. How can they get tickets if they're not here? Huh? I don't know. You better tell them. Oh, that means you've got to come to get tickets on Sunday. Do you know the ways you earn a ticket, Vern? Hi, my name is Vern. Hi, Vern. It's nice to meet you. So the oh. ways you earn a ticket are you have to be on time, bring yep. your Bible. Give Vern a hug. I guess if Pastor Ken allows that, you could get a ticket for hugging Vern. Yeah. Bring but, me some bird seed. Oh, bird seed. No, we can't, we can't have bird seed. That would get really messy. Chocolate covered. Oh, no. That's just bad. Yep. Bring an offering and recite the memory verse. And if you bring a friend, that's another ticket. So don't forget, bring a lot of friends. Burn. Oh. That's not a worm. Oh, sure looks like a worm. No, it doesn't. Hi, my name is Vern. Hi, Vern. <laughs> I think we've already gone over this four or five times now. Oh, okay. So what's the second announcement? Oh, um, um, bring more birdseed. No, Vern, it's not bring more birdseed. Something about uh, Save tickets. Ticket. Save ticket. Ticket! Yeah, in the safe. It is? Let me go check. Every There's Sunday, no guys, safe. we pick a ticket and we put it in our safe that we have in Kid Zone. Can I put a ticket in the safe? This Sunday, you sure can. Oh, can I wait some bird seed? You don't get a ticket, just like I don't get a ticket. Oh. I tell you what, Vern, I'll bring you some bird seed this Sunday. Woo! Yeah, I'll be there. Okay, I figured I figured that would get him. But if All your right. ticket is drawn in the safe, you win a really big prize. So you got to be there to win. That's that's the the catch. You must be present to win. Yep. 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 What's, what's the next announcement? We Something gotta... about a T-shirt. T-shirt. Yeah. yeah. No, I got a question. What? How come they didn't name it a B-shirt or a T-shirt or a V-shirt like for Vern? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. That's my name. Hey, Vern, I tell you what, I'll look that up and I'll get back to you on Sunday, okay? Okay. I'll look that up for you. Right. But don't forget, you can have your very own Kid Zone t shirt. Look up how high. I'm looking no, up. No, no, Vern. Vern. Oh, yeah. Down here. Oh. Huh. Do you want your own Kid Zone t shirt? Yeah. Then you just have to see either Miss Colleen or Miss Kim and give them $13 in your shirt size. <sighs> Can I give them bird seed instead? I don't think they accept bird seed as payment. Uh, I gotta take up an offering. Yeah, there you go. You could try that. All right. Hey, last what? announcement. We got one more. One more. Holiday uh, sludge. What are we talking about? The holiday sludge contest results. Oh yeah, so that was great. Remember, Pastor Ken and Mr. Joe were in an offering contest over the holidays, where the loser would have to drink a nice little sludgy holiday milkshake. Uh, was there bird seed in it? No, there was not. 
Oh. There was eggnog. There was candy canes. There was marshmallow Santas. Ooh, there was sweet. Yeah, well, I think it was very sweet. But Pastor Ken lost. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pastor Ken lost. <laughs> I know, right? Isn't that great? But oh. he took it like a trooper, and uh, he he downed it. I was shocked. He he downed it. He said it actually tasted pretty good. So I think that just kind of tells us all how strange Pastor Ken really is. Hi, my name is Vern. Hi, Vern. <laughs> Don't you have some bird seed to go eat? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. hungry. Yeah, because we got to keep moving. Okay. So. Moving where? Along with the video. Oh, okay. See you later. Bye, bird Vern. Seed. Ooh, I'm hungry. You know, That's kids, really good. Sometimes I think Vern is more of a handful than Harry. I really do. So let, Pastor Ken! Help me! Uh, coming! Oh, oh he's, he's here somewhere. All right. Man. What did I miss? Vern. I missed Vern? You missed Vern. I didn't miss much then. Vern's more of a handful than Harry. I can handle Harry. You can handle Harry? I can handle Harry. Uh, I tranquilize him every week. Maybe we should tranquilize Vern. <laughs> that would we be might interesting. Need to. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know. That might be a little scary. Spike his seed or something. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, spike yeah. his bird seed. Yeah, there uh, we go. We, okay, yeah. I, I got to go. I need therapy after that. All right. Uh -huh. I'll see you a little later. Okay, all right. Well, hey, how's everybody doing? I know I finally made it. It was a little late. Sorry about that, guys. It's just the way it happened. And uh, I, I wish I could say I had a flat tire, but I didn't. And so I just a little, running a little bit behind, but we have a need to know that you need to know. No, nope, wait, before that, before we do the need to know, we have, we're doing a whole new series. Um, we're doing, let's see, what is this series on? It's about planning. Do you know, um, this is the first of the year, it's January, you know how everybody has a uh, New Year's resolution that they're going to start doing something different, maybe lose weight or or lift lots of weights and gain big muscles, or I mean, just whatever, eat more healthy, or you know, walk in the neighborhood or something to try to get some exercise. Well, you know, it takes planning to do that. And, and so we're gonna be talking about in January, we're gonna be talking about planning and what that means. And planning, part of planning is goal setting. So I've asked somebody to come up here and help me give the definition about planning. So I'd like to give your attention to our our in-house professor. Yes, sir. Come on yes, in, sir. It is me. I'm walking very, very slow. You see, very. I have a bit of a Oh, um, you've got I have a chemical bio. concoction. You have a chemical concoction. It is a little a bit of a biohazard. Biohazard. Well, as you can yeah. See I, from the death sign. Yeah. The radioactive sign. Yeah, radioactive. Don't open it up, man. I, I don't, we don't I, want Don't, we don't drink want it either. So Yes. Professor, could you introduce yourself to them? Your name? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, my name is uh, Professor Tinkin Cap. Tinkin Cap. Oh, Tinkin. hey, that's good. Tinkin. You're always Tinkin. Tinkin. Oh, okay. Like, Tinkin. like tinkering around, you know, like. Yeah, this. you're always thinking about things. Always thinking, yeah. Oh, yeah, Tinkin. Okay, well, good, good. Well, Professor, I brought you here yes. to give us a description of goals. Goals. So. I like want a goalie, like you kick a goalie. No, not a goalie, not a goalie. See, oh. we're talking about planning, and oh, if you're you going to be like a, like a goal that you set, yes, and then you make yeah. a goal. Yeah, yeah, you you set these goals, and then you achieved it, and so you got to make oh, okay, a plan okay. yeah. in order to get to the goal. That's a good idea. Yeah. So I I brought a sheet for you okay. right here, yeah. and that that is a definition because I know that with all the things you have in your brain. Yeah. And I know that's a few things um, that I would help you. Yeah, I would help you with the definition. So go ahead, and you can read it. Hold, All right. Hold on. Let, let me set this. Down. Oh yeah, get rid of the Bible. Don't put it on the Bible. Oh, yeah. yeah. Put it by the. Don't let it roll. Ooh. I have steady hands. Oh. oh. I work with lots of dangerous things. Is that like nitroglycerin, where it'd boom, and it would just explode if it fell? We're not going to try it, though. Remember. We're not going to try it, though. That's okay. All right. See, when I don't remember, that's what I use this for. It is my own special invention. Whoa. It is called a thinking cap. A thinking cap. Yeah, see. Oh. It is, uh, well, yeah. it helps me think. Think. Yeah. Okay. I, I can I, think. Okay. Let me, let me see if I can get think. it. Okay. Let me see if I can get it. Okay. Let me see if I can get it. He's trying to think right now. I'm trying to think. 
Where okay, is where's it? Where's the Tinkin? I have a button here. You got a you button here? Uh, you see my button? Button, button, button. Where's the button? See, it's right. it button. turns on. Button. I, I, I forgot I don't the button know. is. Where's the button? Oh! Button. Right there. No, oh, I didn't. Button. Button. I, I have you no it's clue. It's on this side? It's, 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 it's right there in front. Oh, there it is. Hey. Oh! Check it out. Whatever. Oh, my goodness. Now, yeah. now you know the definition. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. I is can that, talk again. Look at that. That kind of tingle all over, it, don't it? It tingled a lot. Yeah. It did, 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 did something to my vertebrae. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. All I'm right. ready. I'm ready. All okay. right. So. I can give you okay. a perfect description of there a definition go. of a goal. Okay. Yeah. They are basically the desires. They, there's no one there. Well, I'm just pointing to the kids in the, in the camera. See them? There's no kids yeah, if you If you look really deep into the lens, you'll see everybody. Just wave at them. See, they're waving back. I can see it. Did, did yeah. you get electrocuted too? Uh, well, we had somebody else to come okay, in and talk right, about right. that one a but little anyway, bit. They yeah. are basically the desires that you put into action to achieve a plan. So you put, you put to it achieve into, a plan. Yeah, you achieve the plan. So yeah. Because if, so, if you don't have a goal, you can't put the plan into action. If you don't have a goal, yeah, that's right. You have to set the goal. That's right. So. You've got to have a goal mm -hmm. in order to make a plan. And you have you to can't have make a plan on nothing. You have something you desire. Yeah. Like if I want a cookie, I have to figure out how to get that cookie. The cookie is not going to drop out of the heavens and land on the ground. I have to make a plan. I go to the store, I get some groceries, I mix it together, I bake a cookie. There you go. And what's the plan you use? You use a recipe, right? You use a recipe. That's it's, right. It, it's not always a perfect plan. It's not, oh, you, don't, you can't leave it in the oven too long. No, 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 no. You My mom used to do that a lot. I get the burnt cookies. Yeah, yeah, I know. They get really it's, crunchy. It smells like, like this too. Yeah, it smells like that. Yeah. I think we left it on a little too long. Um, we have a need to know. Okay. We have a need to know that you need to know because if you don't know, you need to know. You can't tell your brothers and sisters they need to know. And if they don't know it, then they can't tell your parents. And so everybody's in the dark. So we got to know the need to know. So here's the need to know. Go ahead, give us the need to know. But, you got to. But, 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 but I need to know. Oh. Well, okay. Well, I'll tell you the if need to know. I know the need to know. I can tell you the need to know. There you then go. Then you can tell them the need to know. All right. And then let know it. All right. I'm going to tell you the need to know. Okay. You can tell them the need to know. I w yes. All right. Perfect. Here's Perfect. we go. It's dream it. Mm -hmm. Dream it. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Dream it. Believe it. Believe it. And, and achieve it. And achieve it. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Say, no, let's no, all no, say no. it together. It's dream, dream it, it. Believe, believe it. And achieve, achieve it. it. Oh, that's, that's great. right. That's Very perfect. good. Very good. You really you smart. Well, uh, I don't know about that, you but I try. Uh, I like that, though. That's pretty Thanks. cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I, I don't know if I'd want to try it, though. I, I saw how you kind of got all shook up when you had the thing was going. It give you a good shock, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's, even, it's even better, though, when you plug it straight into your brain. Plug, oh, yeah, I don't think I want to do that. I don't want to do that. Well, I want to thank you. Professor yes. oh, Tink and Cap, you're awesome. I and love it. I love it. I'm and I mean, it was glad great having you here today. You. I'm glad to be here. I, I appreciate you very much, and I thank you for coming. I appreciate it. And you. Uh, make sure to take your biohazard with you, and don't forget your cap there. But I, I don't want anything to happen with the biohazard, mm. especially we don't need we don't need Harry getting any getting anywhere near the biohazard. He's already green enough, right? Yeah, yeah. We don't. Yeah, he's already. He, he already is a biohazard. So, all right, there, okay. Shh. Nobody sneeze. All right, let him go. <laughs> ah! Scared I just, me. I just tease him. I, just, uh, I, I like that joke. <laughs> all yeah, right, thank yeah. you very much. All right, well, tonight we have a memory verse. Now, the memory verse is a very important thing to know because in order to have success in anything that you do, you need to have God's word where? In your heart. That's right. So our memory verse tonight is from Proverbs 13, dot, dot, six. Everybody say that with me. Proverbs 13, dot, dot, six. And it goes like this. You read along with me right now. It is, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Right? So anything that you set, any goals that you set, you should pray and ask God to help you. And God will help you. He'll help you to set the right goal. And he'll help you to set up a plan. And I guarantee you, you, you won't fail. When you have God on your side, you won't fail. Let's say that. 
one more time. Where is it found? It's found in Proverbs 16, what? Dot, dot, three. And it says this. It says, commit to the Lord whatever you, what? Do. That's right. And he will establish your, what? Plan. Plans. That's right. So don't forget that. Try to remember that. And we're going to be doing this again next week so that it gets down into your spirit. You know, it doesn't pay to just say it and then forget. You know, you want to make sure and say it so it gets down into your spirit too. And I guarantee you, you will be a success in life because you'll have God's plan on your side. All right. Are you guys ready for some praise and worship tonight? Man, I tell you what, I'm so excited about this. I love this song. And so we're, we're talking about building tonight. We're talking about how you need a blueprint to build something. And so let's take it away right now as we sing the song that talks about building. Here we go. There was a man who built a house and he was called a fool. The storms they came and the ground gave way. Should have gone to building school. Man, wasn't that good. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you did the actions with the song. I mean, that, that's important. Stand up and do the actions. Just don't just sit there and stare at it. You know, get up and, and it helps to get the blood flowing. And, and we got to worship God with our entire being, everything. And that's, that's an important thing. God loves it when we worship him with our whole heart. Well, anyway, we have a fun fact today. And I have somebody that's going to be helping me with that fun fact. And uh, he's been here before. He's been here before, and uh, I, I think he's got a few wires loose or something, but we'd like to introduce you. Come on in, sir. Here he comes. Hey, what what you mean about having wires loose? Well, I think that's Professor in a Thinking Cap guy. Yeah. He's, he's got a few screws loose. Well, that too. That too. Yes, he does. I think I need to fix his head. He seemed like he he's, was going all. 
Uh, he got some wires crossed or something. Yeah, he was, he was kind of, he had kind of this jitter thing, this I'll jump fix, thing. I'll fix him for free. I'll re rewire him. You rewire him? I don't yeah. know if he wants to be rewired, but well. Oh, dear. Yeah, why don't you introduce yourself again to these guys? Y'all don't remember me. Yeah, well. He, I'm Gary, the electrical Gary, guy. Gary, the electrical guy. Oh, That's right. How could y'all forget me? Oh, uh, I never can forget Gary, the electrical oh, of guy. Of course not. Yes, yes. So. How's it been going? I mean, have you been, you not been getting shocked lately, have you? No, no, only once. You only know, once. That, that, that one time, that one I, time. Learned, I learned enough from that. Yeah, you learned to, to follow the, the plan. Don't go on a pole in a lightning storm. Yeah, oh, that's it a good thing. It does not end well for you. No, we don't want to do that. I can, I can well, promise you that. Well, I, I would say that the kids probably shouldn't climb any electrical pole anyway. Save that for the professionals, kiddos. Yes, absolutely. That's that, your PSA for the day. There you go. What's a PSA? Public service announcement. Oh, okay. Well, you learn something new every day. You should. Yes, yes. It's always good to do that. I'm here for something, man. I, yes, the fun fact. Oh, the fun fact. And That's I got right. this right here for you, That's right, right here. Let's yeah, yeah, in. yeah. Let's see. So it Let's says. Okay, here. Uh, no, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. Um, uh, despite uh, the colossal size of the project, yes, the design, planning, and construction of the Empire State Building, Empire State Building, yeah. took just 20 months to complete. No way! Hey, you know the funny thing? My grandpappy Barry, he was the power guy. Grand, you buried your grandpappy? No, eventually we had to. Because oh, he died, that is sad. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was very shocking when he died. It shocking. Was, it was so shocking. <laughs> it wasn't funny. Oh, gosh, huh? It wasn't funny. We I'm were, sorry. We, I didn't mean to laugh at that. Bad. It was but very I, sudden. It was, uh, it was a uh, fun pun. Oh. So, I'm sorry. I'm, oh, Pastor Ken. I but take my hat he, off, but I don't have one. He, he wired yes. the Empire State Building. He wired the Empire he, State well, Building? He helped. He was part of he the group. Oh, wow. He couldn't have done that by himself. Man, that is, a, that is an amazing fun fact. Isn't Think it? Think about it. From the time they started planning this this building, 20 months later, it was done. Less than two years. Yeah, that is incredible. I don't think they. That's could a do really it tall. It's taller than the church. It's like way taller a than lot the church. Taller than the church. Yeah, could I mean, you imagine having church in the Empire State Building. You know, I heard another interesting fact about that. Oh dear. They said that every day there was 3,400 men working on that building at the same time. No wonder they got it done so well, fast. 3,400 men. Well, give or take. My grandpappy said a couple guys fell once it got way up. So yeah, you, you, you got to be careful take. with that. That would be scary. I, I saw pictures of these yeah. guys walking across the beams, and they're like oh, yeah. 40 stories, 50 oh, yeah. stories they, in there. They were crazy back oh, then. I, there's no way. No. Mm -mm. Uh, huh. Anyway, mm -mm. that's our fun fact for today. And, and so it took planning to get the Empire State Building done. I mean, it took blueprints. And it took meetings to plan to figure out what they were wanting to do and plan the 3,400 men. You can't have 3,400 men come in and go, what do I got to do? And they didn't even have Zoom. Back they didn't then. have Zoom. What's, oh, that's not, that's not like a scooter? All, they had to all meet in person. They didn't have the video stuff. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, that's true. Come on, that's get true. with the technology, okay, Pastor okay. Ken. Yeah, that's right. Don't that's mind right. him. He's old. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, my God. Anytime. All right. All right. I got to Well, go. thank you. Thank you there. I got to try and rewire that thinking cap. Guy. Yes, yes. There he goes. Gary the electrical guy. All right. Woohoo. Careful. Don't, don't get too close to that outlet. I think he's got a lot of static electricity going or something. But anyway, uh, we're talking about uh, planning, right? And so our story today talks about how oh, there was two guys in the Bible. This was a parable. Now, what's a parable? A parable is a story. And so Jesus, one time, while he was teaching, talked about this parable of two guys that built houses. And they built house, uh, houses in different places. And so before I go any farther with this story, let's go ahead and take a look and see what happened to the two guys that built their houses. One obeyed and one decided to get out, try to do it easier. So let's find out. Stories of the Bible, the parable of the two builders. This is Jesus, hey who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. 
He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. He asked them, why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you don't do what I say? Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Hey, I'm gonna build here. Yeah, I'm gonna build out there. All right, suit yourself. Like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Oh, yeah. When the flood waters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it was well built. I'll get it here. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. All right, hey, it's nice. Like a person who builds a house on sand. Uh oh. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. Isn't that good? I'm telling you, the guy that built his house on the rock, the rock is a firm foundation. And that's what we need to build our house on because when the storms come against us, now the storms I'm referring to are problems and issues in your life, things that are good things that happen to you. And, and if you build your house, if you have your ideas and the things that you, you have in your heart are, are built on the God's word, on God's word, you will stand strong and you'll make it through that storm in your life. And what happened to the other guy? What did he do? He, had his, he built his house on the what? On the sand. Well, the sand is always moving. It's always shifting. I mean, how many of you have ever been to a beach? Look to your hand. Oh, there's a lot of you that's been to the beach. That's right. And if you notice, the water comes in, and it does, sand doesn't stay in the same place. It's always shifting and moving with the waves coming in and stuff. And so this guy builds his house on the sand, thinking, hey, you know, I want to be close to the water. I want to go swimming and all that kind of stuff. Well, what happens when the storm came? The waves got high, and they beat against that house. And what happened to the house? Yes, exactly. It fell down. Because he didn't listen when they said, you got to build your house up on a higher place, on the rock. And he did not do that. He took and built it on the sand. And we have to be careful what we do, how we set our goals, what we plan. Because if we plan and do it according to God's way of doing things, what the Bible tells us to do, how the Bible tells us to try to, to be a success in life, we have to do this and this and this. We will become a success in life when we follow God's word. But if you don't follow God's word and you say, oh, I can do it my own way. I don't have any problem with this. I can do it whatever way I want to. Well, it's like that guy building the house on the sand. You know, there's a song that said, you know, the, the wise man built his house upon the rock. And, you know, and then the foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rain came tumbling down. Well, what happened when rain came down? The floods came and washed the guy's house with the sand. just went splat. And so we want to make sure that we go according to God's plan, his word. When we, when we get ready to do something for God, we need to pray and ask him because he will give us the plan that will be a success in our life. But you know, there's one thing you need to do in order to have God's plan working in your life. You have to have who in your heart? Yes, that's right. You need to have Jesus Christ in your life. Today, this afternoon, I want everyone to bow your heads, close your eyes, and fold your hands. That's right. Now, there might be somebody here today that doesn't know Jesus as their Lord and Savior, who doesn't have God in their life, because if you don't have God in your life, you don't have God's plan working on the inside of you. Well, you ask, well, how do I do that? Well, we're going to pray a prayer, and you get an opportunity to invite Jesus Christ to come into your life right now. So all heads bowed, eyes closed, here we go. Say, dear Jesus, forgive me of the wrong things I've done. Help me to live for you. I now invite you into my life. Help me to 
have a successful plan for my life. Help me to hear what you have to say and to follow what you are showing me to do through your word. I thank you, Jesus, that you now live on the inside of me and that you are my best friend from this moment on. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, you know what? You just asked Jesus Christ into your life, and if you did that for the first time, I'm telling you, all of heaven is rejoicing right now because now you're going to have a new plan, and you got to make sure and pray and ask God to show you that plan. Make sure to get your Bible and get, a, get your Bible opened up and start reading God's Word because the more God's Word you read, the more of a success you'll be and the better your plan will succeed. Your goals will happen. So, all right. What's the last thing we say before we go today? Love God and love people. All right. I'll see you next week. And we're going to be talking more about planning. So don't forget, build your house on the rock. All right. There we go. Thank you very much. That was great. And see you, Bernard.